Across the UK, native oyster populations have declined by 95% over the past 200 years. Despite their small size, when oysters come together to form a reef, they're capable of making a big impact in our marine environment. The Wild Oysters Project Tyne & Weir is a collaboration between the Zoological Society of London and Groundwork Northeastern Cumbria. Our project is part of the Stronger Shores Partnership, which is funded by DEFRA, and together we're working to restore native oyster populations off the coast of the Northeast. We've established a 10,000 square metre restoration trial site off the coast of Whitburn, with the aim of restoring native oyster habitat, which in turn can help benefit local marine wildlife and also help improve our coastal water quality. So we've deployed 20 oyster reef cubes with 4,000 oysters attached onto them. These oyster reef cubes are made of an eco-friendly concrete that uses 98% recycled materials. They are very textured on the surface, so they have lots of little habitat niches and holes for animals to hide in. Alongside this, we've deployed 35,000 spat on shell and 40 tonnes of repurposed scallop shell culch. Spat on shell refers to a larvae that has settled on a shell material. For our project, we've worked with a hatchery who have done this for us. The shell is scattered in a nice thin layer on the seabed. So when the oysters on the reef cubes start to breed next summer, the larvae will have somewhere surrounding that area to settle on. We're hoping that this multi-pronged approach will have a really positive impact on our restoration trial site. Alongside this, over 200 volunteers have helped us to make this all possible. They've helped us to clean the native oysters and also attach them onto the oyster reef cubes, ready for their new home out at sea. Attaching 4,000 oysters and cleaning 4,000 oysters is not a small task, so using them to help us is really, really important and we wouldn't be able to do without them. With the state of the uh, native oysters being effectively locally and functionally extinct, no one knows about them. And even people who are involved in marine environment sometimes aren't aware of them and how significant they used to be to the local area. So by involving them, they can almost become like ocean stewards. The marine environment can be unpredictable at times. Bad weather comes in, it can throw everything off. We've obviously got contracts lined up with vessels and suppliers and delivery dates. It's really, really satisfying and a little bit emotional to see all these reef cubes finally go into the sea when we've been working on it for so long. Moving forward, we're going to be excited to monitor the progress of these oyster reef cubes to ultimately achieve our aim of restoring native oyster populations locally.